Hi, this is Cy from TNS Engineering with the uh, Timber Trail Boost Pin. Um, I had a few customers complaining that they've not been able to get their original uh, boost pins out of their pumps. Um, so it's just a short video just to show you how you can get your pin out without having to take your pump off and take it to a diesel shop. A bit of persistence and a bit of persuasion, you can get them out. So we've got two pumps here, one good pump, one knackered pump. Uh, these are off a uh, 200 TDI. Um, what happens when the pin won't come out is basically it's the governor pin inside. If we were to pull on the throttle, you'll see the governor pin fires out. When it gets seized, the pin fires out and it gets stuck behind the boost pin. So it gets stuck on the lip, so you can't pull the pin out. So what you have to do is basically we go back over to this pump. Take your four screws out the top, you can use a 9mm spanner which you can basically bump over the top of the screws like so with a hammer just to take the uh, pressure off them and then use a straight screwdriver to undo the screws. Take the top off, when you get to the top you've got the diaphragm, now you won't be able to pull the pin out, it will probably come so far and it won't come out because it's hitting the back of the governor pin. What you have to do then is come over to the throttle linkage and spindle. I've already slackened mine off just to make this a bit quicker. There's a 10mm nut on top so you'll need a 10mm spanner. So you undo this one like so. Take the little washer off the top, the little spring washer, and you'll notice if I can get my camera to focus, there's little starations, little grooves cut out on the top of the bracket. Now the throttle spindle will line up with the uh, cross point where you put the screwdriver in to turn it, will line up with one of these grooves. Just get a bit of tip X and mark it and you know it's time to the shaft correct. It's not. It's no problem if it's not. What you might find is if you put it all back together your vehicle might not tick over. You can adjust that by coming over here onto the uh, adjuster screw for the low tick over but ideally you want to get it right. If you don't you can take it off again and uh, refit it till you do. It's, it's, it's no problem at all. So I'm going to take this off. It is sprung loaded. You'll see the plastic bush at the bottom sits between the two notches and then the spring goes underneath there's another plastic bush underneath the bracket, which we'll see when we take it off in a minute. You can't get them wrong, as long as you remember this one here sits down in the bottom between the two notches. So we'll take the top off. Watch it doesn't ping, it is preloaded. There it goes. So we'll take that off. Um, cool, my phone is rubbish. I don't think you can pick up the starations in there, but there are timing marks to the spindle. But anyway, remove that. Remove the spring. Like I said, you've got a, a plastic bush on top and one underneath. Take those two off. Remember when you put it back, that the spring goes down first into the notch, and then the plastic notch sits in between the two lugs. Then you've got a, a plug on the back of the pump, behind the back of the governor pin. This plug is a 5mm Allen key. Now I've slackened this one off already. You might want to put your Allen key in and then put your 10mm spanner on the end of the Allen key and crank it off. They are tight. So we'll take this one out. Let's get me torch out. Now if we look in there, if you can see in the back there's a plate, like a plate that comes off the governor that works the back of the governor pin. This pushes on the pin when you turn the linkage for the throttle forward and back as so. That pushes on the pin. Now your pin is seized in there and there's no real way without bending that linkage which you don't want to do inside which is going forward and back you can get on the pin. So what I suggest you do is you come back to the diaphragm you will be able to lift it up so far before it catches. Spray a load of WD or engine oil, whatever you got, um, penetration oil inside, fill it right up. Turn your vent on the back up so it doesn't drain out. Let it soak for a minute or two. And then what you want to do is pump it and pump it and pump it quite a bit. It might take you 20 minutes, just work it in. Also spray some penetration oil into the back and turn the pump up. You will get some that will come out, but really, really pump it. Then what you have to do, and you have to be careful how you do this, because you do not want to bend the pin 
all your plates under the diaphragm is get a flat screwdriver like this, a small stumpy one, put it underneath, just squeeze it slightly and work your way around, keep turning the pin, keep turning the pin. At the same time, on the back, the 5mm Allen key you've used to undo it, not a screwdriver because you don't want to break any bits in the back, push on the back of the pin in here as you're doing at the top at the same time and just work it, put in penetration oil in, it will come free. Once you've done that and got it out, she'll come out as so, you'll take your pin out, as you can see this one's really manky, you'll take your spring out and your spacer washer. Look at the gunge in there, it is well nasty. Um, this one was really seized, I mean really seized. Once she's pushed the pin back inside, you won't be able to see the pin obviously, It'll, all the crud will be around it. What you want to do is fill this back up with penetration fluid right to the top. So we're going to do, do that now. Now the uh, top of the uh, boost chamber is full of fuel, or well, use diesel, penetration or whatever you like. Come back to the back of the pump. The little plate on the back that works the pin. Use the Allen key, push it forward. Now that pin has now gone forward. Now when you come to do it to start with, it'll be really tight. I mean, you'll, you need to use two hands. You might even need somebody to hold the pump. So what you do is you use that. Now that's gone forward. You need to work the pin until it becomes free. So what you do then is you put your screwdriver inside, like so, and you push the pin back that way. And then you use the Allen key to push it back that way. Working it from left to right, left to right, I'd probably take 10, 15 minutes with oil, making sure it's really, really free. And then at the end, when you finish, just literally take out your bits and bobs, get your pump, just let the, let the crap out inside, give it a good blowout. Put your new pin in, clean it up, drop it all back in, and the jobs are good. And hopefully this will save you a uh, diesel repair bill from a diesel shop, three, three, four hundred quid, and you can do it yourself. Obviously, when you come to put all this back on, or goes back on as you took it off, put your linkage back on the top, do it up, make sure you put your bung in, because I've done these before and then forgot to put the bung in, which is a bit of a bugger, because you've got to take it all off again. And that's it really, so I hope this helps. Um, I hate doing these videos, but um, I hope you better get your pumps fixed. Cheers, sight.